coming on YouTube, GS right here. I'm finally back and today we're discussing about task port hacks. Yes, this was released a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't very active in this past couple of weeks. I'm sorry for that. So I'm going to start with clarifying some things about task port hacks with this video so that people get up to speed with what's been going on in case you were also not following the developments in the community. So Dewey has released this over here on GitHub. It says task port hacks app and it says it's an attempt to manipulate platform process task port with the core trust bug alone. And this is a proof of concept for an iOS 17.0 semi jailbreak without kernel exploit. And yes, this ended up being used in the Nathan Lurk jailbreak for iOS 17.0. It's a semi jailbreak and it essentially uses the same technique as this one over here. But the most important part is the usage of the core trust bug over here. And this sparked a lot of debate, including a lot of AI slop in the community and especially on GitHub related to this application and usage for troll store purposes. So can this be used for troll store purposes? Would we be able to update troll store to work on iOS 17.1, 17.2, iOS 18, iOS 26 maybe? Well, I have updated my webpage over here on iDeviceCentral.com with troll store on iOS 17.0.1 up to 26.2. Can you still install it? And in here I detail why you cannot. And there are a lot of important things you should keep in mind. This application over here, Task Port Hacks app, is actually quite powerful. It was actually quite revolutionary when it was released a couple of weeks ago, and it was immediately used in Nathan Lurk 2.0, which resulted in the first semi jailbreak for iOS 17.0. So it was actually quite great. And this is it, the Nathan Lurk for iOS 17.0, and of course, the rest of the versions over here. This is as close as we could get to an iOS 17 jailbreak. Anyway, this application, as I said, is legitimate. However, using it for troll store purposes is not. You might have seen the slop that was created around it. A lot of people are generating fake tutorials with AI on how to use that to install troll store. Unfortunately, none of those work. And the only way to install troll store is with either troll installer X, troll restore, or other such methods that support various iOS versions. But the support ends at iOS 17.0, not the beta, the normal 17.0. So yes, Nathan Alert jailbreak can be installed on 17.0, Troll Store can be installed on 17.0, but that's about it. No iOS 17.0.1 support or newer for Troll Store. And this over here wouldn't help for that. As powerful as this is, and as good as it was once it got released, this is not something good for Troll Store because it doesn't bring any support. It's not a new core trust exploit or anything like that. So I wanted to clarify this because as I said, the AI slop is pretty much at its peak at this moment. And without a good source of information for this kind of stuff in the community, you will be inclined to believe that a lot of stuff on GitHub is legitimate when in fact it's just AI generated nonsense. So that's basically it. I will follow up with more videos about this because this is important and this has been, as I said, used in Nathan Lurk. So we're going to take a look at that as well. I didn't manage to cover it, but that's about the only good thing that came out of Taskport Hacks app, Nathan Lurk jailbreak or semi jailbreak for 17.0. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock. If you bought a secondhand device and you can't get into it because you got scammed by the seller on eBay, Kijiji, whatever, you can try iMobi's Any Unlock iPhone password unlocker, which can work with a variety of devices. So definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am GS Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.